raise it up and it continues to turn until you come down on the other side of that repulsion and it only works for a few seconds. Yes, and the reason why it only spins for a few seconds is because you've got friction, which is also what you're getting from your magnetic brake. You want your disc to spin longer? Take the magnets off. I'm going to have to come up with some kind of mechanism to uh, keep it going. Any and every mechanism that you can come up with that will keep it going will require a source of energy. You have to plug it in to the city grid. You have to add a battery, you have to hand crank it, wind it up with a spring, something that has energy in it. What you seem to not realize is that this is not a engineering problem. It is a problem of physics and how the universe runs. You're not going to get a free energy device no matter how clever you are. Like I said, Engineering is not going to help. What you need is to change the laws that govern the universe, and good luck with that. So any ideas you got would be great. Thank you. I have two ideas, which I'm hoping that will help. First off, read the book, and I'm going to read my notes here so I don't screw it up. Perpetual Emotion, The History of an Obsession, written by Arthur W.J.G. Ord Hume hyphenated or a human that put the um, title of the book down here in the description, the video description. That is my first suggestion. You will find, if I recall correctly, starting on page 63, the history of attempting to use magnetism to generate free energy or perpetual motion, which um, thermodynamically is the same thing. That is my first suggestion. The second one is to watch the MIT video on electricity and magnetism. Link down here. If you want to skip the first 10 lectures, which I do not suggest a person does, but if you want to skip and go directly to magnetism, start with lecture 11, if I remember correctly. You'll find that, of course, electromagnetic field is static and therefore is not a source of energy. Therefore, it will not perform work. Therefore, it will not make your disk spin. Why that is, is in the lecture series starting with lecture 11. You can skip the math if you're not com comfortable with uh, the calculus. Ignore that part. Um, observe the demonstrations, especially and specifically when the professor uh, mimics holding a point charge and walking into an electromagnetic field, listen to what he's saying. He will say, and I'm going to paraphrase, I am performing work by taking this point charge and bringing it into the electromagnetic field. He will then say, I am performing work by taking this point charge and removing it from the electromagnetic field. Both cases you need a source of energy. Um, if you have a collection of point charges such as in a piece of steel or iron or for that matter anything that's made out of matter but specifically uh, ferromagnetic for the strong electromagnetic attraction you need a source of energy to move it into the field once it is caught up into that field, it will immediately go to its lowest energy point, which will then be a uh, equilibrium position. You need another source of energy to remove the point charge or the collection of point charge out of equilibrium and back into a higher energy state. Therefore, your disk is not going to spin no matter how much uh, engineering you apply, no matter how clever you are, it's not going to work.